Today, we're going to talk about some updates we made to our data source feature. Before, you had the ability to use any API that you had access to, but you can now also use Google Sheets or upload a CSV file to pull unique content for each one of your subscribers. Any data that is in your Google Sheet or CSV file will be available to insert directly into your Photoshop images, including text, numbers, images, and links. The end result will perform just like our API option, but without the need for developers. I'm going to quickly show you the options we have for CSV files, then go through the entire process um, using Google Sheets. So after I click on the CSV file icon, you'll see an example of some product data that we have, um, and as well as uh, the option for a lookup. You'll be able to assign which column you want to use to look up, and it could be something like your client ID, it could be a product ID lookup, you can even use multiple columns. But this data should reside inside of your email service provider, and it will be the only variable you need to pass through. Now if I go to add CSV file, you can see I can easily just drag the file uh, into the box provided, or you can give us a download um, URL where we can grab that file and we can automatically update it um, at different intervals that you wish. Once the file is uploaded, you'll have options to label each column, tell us which columns you want to look up, even ignore columns. But the same thing can be done um, with Google Sheets and that's what I'll take you through today. So simply authorize your account and you'll see a list of all of the Google Sheets that you have. Um, once you select one, we'll show you some sample data and we'll also ask you if the top row contains the column names. This will save you from having to label them all yourself. In this instance, I'm gonna say yes. And now we can see um, each column as well as the field name, the type, and the option to make it a lookup field. With this example data, um, I do have the first uh, column A with client ID. Um, and I wanna make this my lookup field because this is what I'm gonna pass through from my email service provider. Um, you can also see I can associate what type of field this is, the text, number, image, or URL, or a true false field. So I'll go through and make sure that each column um, has the correct type. And as I get down to product image and product link, I see that they're text, but they need to be an image URL or a link URL. You also have the option of ignoring columns. So if you don't need all this data, you can ignore it. Um, simply by clicking that button. Now I can simply save um, my Google Sheet data. And you'll see that we've created different field names that you can now use. Client ID, name, product name, product price, product image, and product link. At the bottom, you also have the option of adding a default parameter. So if you always want to fall back to a certain row, you can. Now this sheet's going to download um, pretty quickly, and I can start to apply these different data fields um, to a Photoshop image. Now I've already built the Photoshop image that I wish to use, so I'll go to Photoshop Images and just drag that in. Once that is done uh, analyzing, I'll hit the Save button. I'm going to call that Nifty Shoes Hero Image. I can then go to edit configure views to apply the data fields that I've collected into this image. So I'll start by going to the smart object layer, which is going to be replaced with a data source of our product image. I'll also add the subscriber's name. I'll add the product name And then finally, I'll add the price. So each of these are going to be pulled dynamically from the CSV or from the Google Sheet. So I'll save these changes. All you need to do is go to Live Preview and then simulate the different client IDs that you might be showing. 
Now each time it's going to hit the Google Sheet um, that you add as a data source, it's going to pull in their name up top, it's going to pull in the product name, the product image, and the price for each. You can also um, pull in the deep links by simply going to the link icon, clicking once again the data source, and choosing product link so that this image will be clickable and will go to the product page for each subscriber. If you have any questions about using Google Sheets um, or CSV files as a new data source, please reach out to us. This feature is available um, in all Enterprise Plus accounts right now. And if you want to upgrade, you'll get instant access to this feature. Thank you and have a great day.